This is dealing with a horizontal tension line. So say for example there is a function that looks like y is equal to x to the power of 2 plus 3x the whole thing multiplied by 2 to the power of negative 2x. And the question says find the exact x coordinates of the points obviously because coordinate means the point on the curve when it says curve that means this function uh, where uh, the tangent line is horizontal. So in this case we are dealing with tangent line so that's dealing with some kind of a curve that immediately tells us that we need to find the first derivative. So let's take the first derivative. This is a product of two different things. So first we do 2x plus 3 and then the second one as it is. So we are seeing these are two different functions that cannot be merged in any other way. So they have to be done by the product rule. So here we've done that. Now we keep the first one as it is, which is just a quadratic polynomial. And e to the power of negative 2x, negative 2. Let's try to simplify this. We can factor out this. Whatever you can factor out, do so to make things simpler. Then we've got 2x plus 3. With this negative 2 now, we need to be careful. So if you require one more line just to be safe, then do so. So in this case, this will be negative 2x to the power of 2, negative 6x. So we can simplify that further, whatever inside the bracket. So it would be negative 2x squared, negative 4x plus 3. So now, when it's a line, a tangent line, which is represented by this, a slope, and it's horizontal, that means the slope is equal to 0. So whenever it's a horizontal tangent line, slope is equal to 0. So first, let's look and see. We've got two things multiplied. In order to have 0, one of them must be 0. We know this will never be zero because it's exponential function. Um, this is where the asymptote takes place. So this will never ever equal to zero. And so there's no possibility of ever finding any, any x value, the x coordinate, where this is happening. So we need to look at this. So first scan and see if we can factor this, but we can't. So we need to use the quadratic equation. So quadratic equation means here a is going to be negative 2, b is going to be negative 4, c is going to be 3. So we say 4 plus minus 16 minus 4ac, so it's going to be 2 times 6. So just to recall quadratic equation, we know it's negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So this is negative, be very careful with that. And so here negative, negative, so 4ac, sorry. So it's safer to actually write things down than to try to take the shortcut. So 4ac with the negative cancels out over 2a, so it's negative 4. So if we simplify this, we get 4 plus minus 16 plus 24, that gives us 40 over negative 4. We can simplify that further, so 4 plus minus, this is actually equal to root 4 times root 10, which is 2 root 10. So we've got 2 root 10 over negative 4, which means we can cancel by 2. When you cancel, don't just cancel here and here because you need to cancel the whole thing by 2. So we get 2 plus minus root 10 over negative 2. So the question says do it um, find the exact. So whenever it says exact it means don't convert this into put this into calculator and convert to decimal because it will not be exact. So that means keep the square root as it is. They want the square root there. So this is one way of showing or you can say negative 2 plus minus root 10 over 2 because it's negative plus minus just gonna switch from minus plus so that same thing as this so it's pretty much this negative going to the top so this is how we come up with the exact x coordinates of the points plural because we've got plus minus on the curve where the slope is zero meaning the tangent line touching this curve is going to be horizontal so please be mindful of the nature of 
exponential function and polynomial function and factoring using quadratic equations. So this is a question that builds on top of basic knowledge of calculus plus what it means to be a tangent line and what the slope is going to be when it's horizontal.